Hello and welcome to the new video. Today we're going to take a look at the electric type cup and 10 top teams for this kind of cup here. And I have to say, I don't think a lot of people are going to play this cup, but we're going to take a look at this. Here it's going to be the rules. Only electric types going to be allowed. You're not allowed to use the normal Stunfisk, the Heliolisk, the Charger Buck, which I don't know why Charger Buck, but okay. And the Vikavolt. For Heliolisk and Vikavolt, they both learn Mudslip, which would be just too strong for this cup because only electric types are allowed. And for um, the Stunfisk, of course, it is a ground type Pokemon. For electric types, literally the biggest weakness towards it. So that's why they're not allowed. But here, of course, um, feel free to subscribe to the channel would appreciate it those videos are always kind of a lot of work of course here as they can move on to the meta if you take a look at the meta for this kind of video here or like for this kind of cup we're going to encounter here a very very small meta like you can basically use everything that you see on this side but anything else you cannot really use it's kind of bad so as you're going to see here we're going to see lantern on top by far with water gun you want to play it we have a minoon which is going to be interesting because there's grass knot which can deal with lantern which is kind of nice we have hidden power ground luxray where I actually feel like that maybe a hidden power fire would be interesting as well. As we're going to see here, we have below it the Garventula, which would be weak to hidden power fire, but not hidden power ground. We have the Magnezone, which would be weak to both of them, to be fair. And then we have the Electrode, which is only weak to hidden power fire. So it would be maybe also an interesting alternative. But yeah, let's take a look at the long-term rankings here, which you're going to see as well. This is, of course, not always saying exactly how the meta going to be, but this kind of shows a little bit more. And also shows that Lantern is, of course, by far the best Pokemon to use. Otherwise, it's going to be also Galventure. Like Galventure is a little bit under um, yeah, appreciated here in the graphics. It's only like at rank 4 for PE Poke, but it's actually way better than that. Of course, rank 4 is really good as well, but for such a small meta, it's really decent. Magnezone is actually also better than it seems like. I don't really have that many teams with Magnezone, but still going to be fine. Um, Assyrian Electrode going to be also very strong. But um, yeah, in general, you have to say that you can basically use most of the four, five, six Pokemon that you see on the right side in any kind of scenario. And we're going to take a look at this one as well. Um, most teams are from Dracovis as well, or like also the long term rankings are from Dracovis. So definitely check the website out as well. Link below in the description. But let's take a look at the first team here. I think Homestyle Henry also made a video about this team last time this cup was around, but I also had it in my top teams last time around where this cup was there. Um, definitely a solid line here in general. We're going to have the Asurian Electrode in the lead. Going to allow you to um, just in general resist those ground type moves or like have a neutral answer for this kind of one. Plus also it's the best answer for the Lantern, which is basically your main objective here as the backline is really good against something like Alventure, which I feel like is going to be very common. So I feel like if you want to play something and you want to play something fast, this might be the way for you. You can also use the Shadow Variants of the Alolan Graveler and Golem in the back. They also work out fairly well. And I feel like this might be the best, easiest team to play if you just want to get your battles done. So that might be an option for you. Moving on to team number two, we're going to have Hidden Power Luxray here. Hidden Power Luxray is going to be very strong in this meta. Again, you can decide either ground or even fire I would find kind of interesting if you have those. Just, of course, you'll be different kind of Pokemon with it. With fire, you're going to be able to destroy the Hesurian Electrode as well as Gavantula. With ground, you basically destroy everything else. So... Basically, only Pokemon that learns any kind of ground type move for this kind of meta, which is nice. We're going to have the Minoon as a safe stop here with having access to Grass Node and Discharge, going to be very cool as well. And then in the back, the Lantern, which is just going to try to finish up some games. Moving on, we're going to have the next team here, going to be basically the three main meta mods together. And honestly, here, Galventula going to be lead, uh, Electrode, you can use as a safe stop and Lantern in the back. Like, all of them kind of work well with each other. Gavantula here is going to be a little bit of a threat maybe, but otherwise not really too bad. Electrovire and Manetric, I don't really expect that you're going to encounter those Pokemon at all to be fair. Like, I don't think anybody will really want to use them because they're actually fairly bad against most Pokemon here and also kind of only really are sim heroes. So Electrovire maybe has some play, but the rest is not really that ideal. And again, this team is kind of the main standard meta Pokemon. If you take a look at the next team, it's going to be the exact same Pokemon, but in a different order, which is kind of showcasing how this cup going to be. It's just going to be three of those main standard Pokemon put together, and if you win the lead, you kind of win the game. It's honestly kind of awkward. This might be the best kind of variant of it. Of course, Galvention has the option to destroy um, Lantern or like win this kind of lead scenario, but the backline kind of covers more of the weaknesses of Lantern, which is kind of nice. 
But again, Lantern is one of the best Pokemon, if not the best Pokemon in the meta, so you're going to be able to do a lot of damage against even Pokemon that you theoretically lose against. Moving on to team number 5, we're going to have here the Hisuian Electrod in the lead, and we're going to also have the Gavantula and the Lantern there, what a surprise! But here this time around we also would have the option to have something like a man, um, the Magnezona in the back, because you're going to have uh, very decent answers for the Ground-type Pokemon here in the back, but again, like, this is the basically showcases how this meta is going to be. You can play every kind of Pokemon there in any kind of scenario because every Pokemon is electric type. Like, it's not really that you have to prepare for anything. You know what you're going to encounter anyway. So, um, yeah, like here, Galvantula says up is very strong in the current meta, only really scared by the Graveler as well as the Alolan Golem there. But again, it is just not really the greatest meta. Moving on to team number six. We're going to have here more Shadow Luxray power, this time around with the Pokemon in the back there with the Hidden Power Ground, this time around also Shadow. If you have Shadow Luxray, it's definitely better than the normal variant in my opinion, just because also of Psychic Fangs, plus um, the Hidden Power Ground just doing a little bit more damage. But again, showcase kind of how strong those Pokemon are going to be. And again, Galventure seems to be one of the best Pokemon that you most likely encounter in nearly every game here, as it's going to be also able to break this team. Moving on, we're going to have um, a different kind of a variant of the first team that we had, but this time kind of in reverse, we're going to have the Garventure as a sales up, the Golem as the lead as well, or like also of course the other one there, the Graveler, as well as the Asuian Electrode on the back. Basically, your lead is going to be very weak against Lantern, so you're going to have some decent sales up soils with the Galventula and then the Asuian Electrode, which is going to be able to completely destroy Lantern, so I feel like this might be even the best team for them all. It's just a little bit more balanced than before, and it's just going to be meta Pokemon anyway. And you don't even need to, to use a Lantern here again, so that might be a plus for you. You can use the Shadow variants of the Galventula or the Golem as well all the time. It does not really matter too much, to be fair. And we can move on to team number 8. Going to be with Maiden as a safe up here, we're going to have the Galventula in the lead, the um, Lantern in the back, and basically, again, it is just literally just throwing some meta Pokemon together, and that's basically it. This was also a team that I showcased last time around where the cup was available, so that's why I have this team here, and apparently it's fairly decent, but... Like, I don't really think anybody really going to play this cup as you're going to have Great League available. Moving on to team number 9 here, going to be with Magnezone in the lead going to definitely be a solid option here as you're going to have the Miner and the Electrode in the back. I would actually recommend you here again more to go for the Graveler in the lead, but I kind of want to showcase at least how strong the Shadow Magnezone can be, which actually going to be able to beat most of the Pokemon. But with Graveler, you're going to be able to basically beat anything that's not really a Lantern and your backline are both kind of season against Lantern. Miner is a very good say-so, especially for Lantern because you have like the grass type coverage there, plus um, the Electrode is the best answer for that, so I feel like the Graveler is even a little bit better for this team, but here Magnus only can also play, especially the Shadow variant seems to be very solid in this meta. And team number 10. And speaking of Electric Cup, my PC just died, so now I can at least take a look now at the final um, team here for today, which is going to be around the Ampharos, which is going to have access to Trailblaze, which also kind of functions similar to, for example, the Minon, which is going to have also access here to a move that's going to be grass type coverage for the lantern, so that's kind of nice. Um, otherwise, we have, again, Fury kind of Garventula as well as the NESC um, lantern in the back there. You kind of want to stay in with the Ampharos, try to align your Pokemon in the back, because Galventra plus lantern is a very, really good core in the back, and Ampharos is very, like, neutral against everything in the current meta. So I feel like this team should work out fairly well as well. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this um, cup in general. Honestly, I can't see anybody want to play this one over Great League. I don't, I honestly, like, I don't really know why Niantic is giving us cups like this. I'm not really the biggest fan of it. But let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Thanks all for watching. See you in the next one. See you later on um, as well for um, a similar video, of course. 15 legend teams for the uh, Great League, which is kind of nice. So definitely check that one out as well in like 7 hours from this video. So see you then. Bye-bye.